What's up, what's up, and welcome to Stick It. My name is Lindsay Lee Hobson, and I'm an inspirational speaker and personal coach who started a revolution for young adults. It's the end of the weekend here, and wow, I've had a fabulous weekend. For those of you who follow along with my lives, you'll know not that long ago, I was on a mental detox, and as part of that, I was being super conscious about, hey Neil, thanks for joining us, super conscious about the sort of food that I put into my body, which means I've been really healthy. But last night, you know, we're allowed to have a certain number of guests in our home. Hey Amush, thanks for joining us, Umesh. Amush, sorry, I think I said that wrong. It's Umesh, right? Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, certain number of guests. So I had one of my best friends over last night and we had a couple bottles of bubbles and not much sleep and we just had a good old fashioned girls night. It was fabulous. But the downside of that is I look super tired because I am and it was a very, very good night. What a great weekend. And it's okay sometimes, you know, I made this rule for myself that I was going to be really conscious what I put into my body. Neil's morning there. Fantastic. I hope you have a wonderful Sunday. Hey, Peter, thanks for joining us. Be really conscious about what I'd put into my body. But sometimes it's okay to break the rules and last night was a fabulous example but first you have to know the rules before you can break them now what does that mean now the reason I want you to know this first the reason I'm bringing this up is not just because I had a fantastic night off the off the record you know without having to worry about what I put into my body just enjoying myself you know what food I was feeling myself with just having a really good night and let my hair down that's the reason I thought of this, but it's important for you to know. It's important for our generation in particular to know what I'm about to say next, because we as young adults and as millennials have by far the strongest entrepreneurial spirit than any generation prior. We want to go out there and make our own mark and try out our own things for the first time. But the trouble with that is we want to make our own rules. And that can be a pitfall because if you don't know the rules of life first, because there are rules no matter what area of life you want to go into, no matter what career, no matter what it is, even with entrepreneurship, there's certain guidelines, certain rules that you need to know first so that you can break them and make them better. Now, all of us in our generation, we all have this burning desire to go out there and make a difference. It is so common. It's one of the things that gives us that fiery entrepreneurial spirit, right? It's one of the most amazing things about us as young adults and one of the most biggest gifts that we could ever ask for. And I love that about our generation and the generations below. If I absolutely love that, it makes me so happy to work with people like us, you know, who just have that desire. But the other side of that, good, thanks, Noah, thanks for joining us. The other side of that is we don't want to follow rules often. One of the things that drives us towards entrepreneurship outside of that drive to make a difference and the need to leave a mark on this world is that stamp of independence. And sometimes we don't like being told what to do. Hell, I hate being told what to do. It's one of the reasons I do what I do. But if you don't know the rules before you go out and try and break them, you will risk so much more than what you are going to gain. And the reason for that is if you're not sure the consequences or the result of certain actions, if you don't know what happens when you push this button or when you go out there and run up that hill or you try and start a business in this field, you can test it all yourself. That's fine. But you still have to test it so you know what results you're going to get. You still have to know the rules. And it's so important that we do that because it will save you so much heartache in the long run and so much backward progress. Progress doesn't always look like progress. And it's so important that we give ourselves a break and stop thinking that every day has to be groundbreaking. No, it doesn't. But if you understand there are rules of engagement, rules to life. There are things that happen as a result of actions. And you don't have to have all the answers, but you definitely need to know the rules first. You need to go out there and discover them. You don't have to wait. And when I say you know the rules first, I don't get me wrong. I don't want you to think that you have to sit there and have all the answers to these questions first and know all these rules and know what it is that you're doing. You don't. You 100% don't. But you have to understand that you're testing them. That you're going out there, you before you can decide how you're going to make it better, you have to know what it is to begin with. And that's what I mean when I say the rules. You need to know what the foundation you're working from is. And it is fantastic, right? In the Stick It Revolution, I teach all the people in the program and all the people that are having private sessions with me that it's super important that you know the rules because, right, courageous risks and calculated risks are one of the most rewarding things that we can do. A risk is going to pay off one way or another. You either learn or you win. Learning is a win. Knowledge is power. The more you learn, the more you can better yourself. So this is what I mean. If you go out there and just willy-nilly so try everything without necessarily understanding that you're testing the rules first, then you could be taking uncalculated risks 
And sometimes, we always say this, progress doesn't always look like progress, but there's progress that doesn't look like progress, and then there's recklessness. Recklessness is not something we want to strive for, especially not in the stick at revolution, because it's a calculated risk. It means you don't have to have the answer to what's going to happen to that risk, but you have to understand that you're testing something, you're trying something. So this is what I talk about when I say knowing the rules is the advantage and how to make the most of it. It doesn't mean that there's like step one, you know, if you're hugely analytical, when I say the word rules to you, you're going to think of a different thing to someone who is driven more by emotion. But simply what I'm saying is there are foundations, there are guidelines, there are things to test first. You don't have to sit back and wait and procrastinate. You can go out there and take those calculated risks, but don't be reckless. Because recklessness is one of the ways that you end up going around in circles and then beating yourself up because you didn't get the results you wanted and wondering why it's not working. And it's okay to try things and have it not pay off. That is absolutely okay because as I said before, you win or you learn and learning's a win because knowledge is power. So take calculated risks, go out there and try new things, but understand that you're learning or you're winning one or the other. And that is so incredibly important. So I want to hear from you. How are you doing that in the next 24 hours? What calculated risks are you going to take? What rules are you going to learn about? So you can understand the rule itself thoroughly, and then you can make it better in your entrepreneurial life. I want to hear from you how you're going to do that. Hey, Asif, lovely for you joining us in the next 24 hours. Let me know what you've done to test the rules and how you're going to make them better. And most importantly, remember to stick it.